Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Newbies turn to ban. Seconds remaining. Hello, ladies and Seconds gentlemen, and remaining. welcome back to our deciding game number three. This one is going the distance. It's Secret taking on Newbie and Design MDL time. in the lower bracket. Losing team will be eliminated. Who's it going to be, Guts? Who's it going to be? That's what we're about to doubt. Uh, I have no bold predictions. That's a terrible answer. <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, it's come on, you, you've been on accurate. point, you know? Star Ladder, Alliance is getting eliminated, 2-0, yeah. don't even need to see the draft of game two. They go and win the event, so who are you going to crown as the uh, eventual Ooh, champions here? who can I curse today? Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out. I draft like it. Begun, so let's go ahead. Too much power, LD. Too much power to have. Turn to pick. All right, bands are underway. They gave Secret Earth Spirit. Okay, Secret one. Okay. So at least you waited to see the first pick before you called. I, mean, I haven't seen the first pick. Hey, well, hold I on. Mean... Correction, LD. I did not wait to see the first pick. So... I called it before the first pick, uh, for the record. <laughs> that secret. Gonna... Interesting to see secret banning the IO. Mm, has Newbie run it at all recently? Not sure. I've been. I mean, there's been so many group stages, like 40 games in one day. So we didn't get to see any of Newbie on the mainstream. So hmm. not entirely sure on that one. Our spirit it is. Turn to pick. So what do newbie get in return? Venge plus one has often been a, a go-to of theirs. Their dire third game in a row, they really prefer it. Secret prefer the Radiant side. Um, it looks like Secret actually got first pick two games in a row. So I think they, I guess they do another coin toss for game three is my guess there. That's the only way I can imagine that happening, but we'll see what, what the plan is going to be. 10 seconds remaining. Who's drafting? Is it? Oh, it's late drafting. It is newbie. Puppy Second for secret now. Oh, Puppy's drafting again. Whoa. Could just be a incidental thing. It's hard to know how much input everyone has. Uh, yeah. Regardless of who bears the crown. Was he drafting game two? It was definitely no, it game was, one was envy. I think I, it was envy. I don't. I can't remember game two. I know game one was envy though. Because I remember thinking like uh, their draft did cause them some issues like when they went late game and that was part of the reason they maybe lost. So last time they went Spearbreaker Darkseer here. It's true, the Venge was third, fourth. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously they'd be this giving away the Lone Druid. And they're gonna do something very different. Totally different. Void totally totally different. It's it's newbie after all. You well know, this looks... is definitely something that can punish the Earth Spirit made a lot more than a bristle. This bag. is like them having going back way right back to T I four. T I four indeed. This was the newbie strat. They don't have very many of the old faces, but they yeah. got the heroes. The heroes have changed though. Yes. Death Prophet's even worse. Or <laughs> even more uh, OS froggy than before. <laughs> I would agree with that. Um, uh, Void, yeah, he's, he's quite different. I guess, uh, he's kind of. He doesn't have the long... He needs a blink more before he gets that long range initiation. I would say he's a lot different, not because of the hero, but because of the items. Like, he's no longer, like, an offlaner you can just carry. He's an offlaner you can initiate. Yeah, well... And purely an initiative. And he's, yeah, more team fight oriented with time dilation and stuff. Yeah. Um, so Old Void is get Mask of Madness, get Maelstrom, yep. kill everyone. Universe remaining. gets an ultra yep. kill. So Terra Blade in the first stage for Team Secret. Wow. They really wanted this tier, I guess. So they got banned out in they the second stage. They knew it was going to get banned. Yeah, so that, was, that was what happened in previous games. And the other alternative was to get the Lone Druid, which was fine for them in previous game, but. They don't play as fast paced as a team like Alliance with the Lone Druid. They often they're normally going for the late game and 
Like, even if they get that good Radiance timing, it's not until they get a few more items before they're even really thinking about high ground, so I think they decide they'd rather secure Envy's Terror Blade than the Misery Lone Druid. The Tyro will get banned out, so just removing here, they can dump damage into Chrono. Generally, is the approach we see nowadays. Yeah. Who else is a common ban? Zeus, but I'm not sure he really fits the newbie lanes. No, they've already got Death Prophet. Uh, support Zeus is possible, but... We, they'd rather get strong lanes. Good Unless supports. they ran like safe lane void and off lane Zeus, but I, nobody really seems to run carry void anymore. So I think the big things newbies missing is kind of like some sustain, either AOE heals or a mech slash pipe buyer. But they've already got their mid lane, the death prop. They've got their off lane. The, neither of these heroes buys mech, buys pipe. So yeah, like I'm trying to think. Of this. Or dark sea. Well, they 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 can't really draft those because they've got void. Yeah, I don't see I them running a I'm safe lane void. Yeah, yeah. Void, but... Um, so there's not really like many obvious safe lane carries that go for these kinds of items is, is maybe a limitation of newbies draft so they've got to be thinking four position supports who can get some farm uh, come out with these kind of items. I feel like an Enigma pick remaining. would actually be fine. Newbies is not a team who plays Enigma but it's a, a good hero here. Um, they can't go Chen, they banned it out themselves otherwise I'd be saying like a Chuan Chen could just be the mech buyer for the team and then provide a lot of sustain against uh, Team Secret's Earth Spirit but Having having AOE heal and just damage block is seems very important. I was gonna suggest Dazzle for Ubi, but yeah, they, same. they ban it. It's, it kind of fits that role without having to get the items, just having Shadow Wave. But perhaps gets owned a bit too much by Earth Spirit. If he gets stunned, silence, he might just die before he gets spells off. But I mean, just looking at the last game alone with what Earth Spirit did, it seems very important to have Zoom. that sustain. Okay, okay, they do Support go Zeus. for the Zeus. Interesting. So hmm. not a hero who's gonna. They're gonna. They're pretty much all out offensive with this. Like they're not gonna actually have. I imagine very good sustain because no, this, this is, is all. This is all now. about the Chrono as well, right? Yeah. now, For newbie. The other hero that would have maybe given them some sustain from the five roll is the Witch Doctor, but that's also banned out. So. I mean, support Zeus is very vulnerable to Earth Spirit as well. Yeah, absolutely. Huh. They haven't. There's like many options to like help keep your keep a teammate alive. The dazzle band out. Five seconds remaining. Tusk is like an old school option, but I don't I don't see Tusk being very good for for newbie Zone here. Time. And we also want to have make sure they have good stuns and control to make sure they can keep the terror blade locked down when he's trying to get Sunders off. So like a shadow shaman as pushing hero comes to mind. That's something newbie may want to consider. That gives them lockdown and also push. But I think newbie overall, the game plan is going to be let's go offensive, try and use our spells to push towers and get kills. We don't care about, like, if we kill them before they kill us, we don't need sustain. I wonder what Secret are looking to do. Uh -huh. Do we actually see the Lone Druid with this draft? Or do uh... they have to change it up now? Hmm, they might need to change it up and go less greedy. Or at least something that can fight a bit better. The Darkseer has been another hero of Miseries, which he's had some success with. I mean, the other thing is they they don't have to run the Earth Spirit mid. They could change it up, go like for a Weehan Invoker, maybe run the Earth Spirit support. Need to grab the Disruptor now, though. Yeah. Normally he is a four. Okay, so there's Control Lockdown for Terra Blade, a big ulti that can actually kill off the split pushing Terra Blade. And that's going to be their support partner for the, the Zeus, I can only imagine. Unless they do like safe lane Death Prophet with mid Zeus, that would be kind of funky and unexpected. Doesn't seem likely, but... I really like running the Zeus as a core, but I I guess the lanes are the, yeah. the main issue. Especially if that ends up being a support or spirit. Yeah, I think then, so. then Zeus is just going to be a feast in the mid lane. Support Zeus Five is definitely remaining. on the weaker side as far as supports go, but it's all about the, the lineup, the synergy it has, oh and... Uh, they're willing to have a few weaknesses to benefit from to being able to dump damage into the Chrono. Secret, just pick up a sa stable support duo. And they recognize Newbie have very weak laning supports. They can't. They don't have any lane presence out of Earthshaker Zeus, so they get two heroes that can actually punish and be bullies in the lane. They can remaining. contest any of the lanes they want. If Newbie goes for a greedy last pick in the carry roll, they can try and Five contest it. Um, alternatively, like they know the, the off lane for Newbie, the Void, they want to be able to try and Reserve deal time. with him, so Rubik Disruptor pretty good at doing that as well. So Secret do confirm it isn't going to be, once again, the Weeha or Spirit. So now we're looking for the Misery Hero for Secret. Hmm. Um, they're very level dependent here, but not very greedy as far as farm goes. I'm just wondering if you could like do like a 
aggro trialing with the Rubik Disruptor. Perhaps not as much as like Earthshaker Zeus isn't a, really a support hero that does a whole lot. In that, if the aggro trialing into it, Zeus will just sit back, spam arc lightning, and chip you down, which can be kind of pesky if you don't have really starting magic sticks. Noob, you're gonna you ban the Clockwork here. Dang pretty it. good against, actually good against all three of those heroes. Yeah. Avoid being the one that's pretty easy to escape with. Hmm. It's hard to imagine those secret going for something too space creative for misery because they've already got the Earth Spirit. So, like their their line will fall off pretty hard if it's only terrible like going into late game. I mean, is there anything else besides the Lone Druid? Mm. And Darkseer's been, been pretty good for him. There's, uh... Broodmother? Wow, Lion Band. So they're expecting a... A core something. Core Zeus. Core Void. Uh, well, Core Void, obviously. Core, but maybe Safe Void, but like an offlane Zeus. Yeah. It's definitely possible. Yeah. I mean, Hal has, used to play a ton of carry Void. Yep. I would love to see that, just to see his take on the hero, and, you know, anything but the same Iron Talon, Treads Vlad's, Aghanim's Blink Dagger every game. Five seconds Not sure how viable it is. Their last pick, go into their reserve time. Reserve so not the line, you can always just fit in the Shadow Shaman instead, but Lifestealer comes Team out. So it is a support suit. And this is or not a, four a jungling Lifestealer would be the only <laughs> other... Curveball yeah. Zuby could throw. Support Zeus, Lifestealer, Safe Lane for Hal, I think, one of his more often played heroes in the past. Huh. And then well, he's great lane. against Disruptor. And Rubik. Yep. Doesn't... Used to be a pretty hard counter to both of those supports when he was in Vogue. A zero synergy with Faceless Void, but... Remaining. Well, I mean, Void slows everyone with time dilation, that kind of helps Lifestealer, but the Chronosphere, <laughs> zero synergy. <laughs> Guess not, I... not good with Fissure either, generally. No, no, yeah, this is ex. I, 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 as soon as I saw the light, I was like, what? But like, they have, no they Fissure? Have, like, they how have, does this work? They have vehicles. Yeah. They have the Void, they have the Earthshaker Five later on. Remaining. Yeah, some cool delivery mechanisms here. So, yeah, they're picking Legion the hero commander. for being pretty good at sieging towers. And I'm and like, is this NBA draft? No, it's it's puppy drafting. He's picked up the Cloud Nine special. It's the leading commander. <laughs> I mean, secret. Let's be honest. It's felt a little more like Cloud Nine, a little less like secret over the past couple of days. Abs so absolutely. Now the drafting is starting to match it. Uh, but no Bone Seven. Uh, we've got yeah. on the Legion. So I mean, Envy will be happy. It's been a while since I've seen him play Terrorblade. It's it's much needed, just wave clear and high ground defense, which is something they actually had very little to no AoE. They had Fade Bolt, and that's really it. Also, BKB piercing lockdown for uh, heroes that are likely to yeah. grab it later on. Yeah, so... Uh, a, a strong pick, and it's something that can be a bit of a semi-core as well, scale pretty well with farm if you manage to, to find some remaining. alone time on the map as well. So we'll see. We'll see Decide, how it fits in. Deciding game three, big match for both teams here. Newbie as well as Secret, getting ready to Head rumble. And they'll head out to the lanes now. There's also Earth. I mean, Earth Spirit's actually amazing high ground defense. <laughs> it's, it's it's one of those things you don't really think of the hero. Once you get that axe, it. it's just disgusting. Yeah. Very hard to break against him. Oh, Chuan looking swag. The yeah, Envy too. That's a, that's a terrible set. He's pimped out. He's got the. Well, the Arcana, the I should say. <laughs> That's Nim Sanam. How do you how do you say it? Tanim Sanam. Tanim. I don't. Tim sure. Sanam. Tim Sanam. Well, he's green. I guess that's what matters. The green sum. The green sum. Seven tangos on puppy. He's mm, buying a lot more regen, suggesting. He's possibly going to the offlane with the Legion commanders, some dual lanes. Oh, oh actually, aggro trialing. So they, I mean, we took the lone druid maybe being picked up as a 1v1 for the void with an aggro trialing. It looks like just Legion's going to 1v1 the void and they I, can test that top lane. I quite, I quite, I'm not sure how that offlane will work, but I quite like the idea of not trying to duel or trialing a void because it just doesn't seem like any lineups can kill him. I like it a lot too, and I think the one thing, yeah, the aggro trialing, it's got a stronger support join Rubik Disruptor, but if you don't actually catch the Zeus Shaker, they just sit back and chip and spam their arc lighting, 
keep on poking at you and harass you down. And they have no great way to deal with life stealer when he gets like level three to five and yeah. he starts running at them. So we'll definitely have to but, be careful around that. If they get a catch with telekinesis metamorph, like that's you're looking at quick kills for team secret. No, well, maybe it will be dual lanes. Rubik's kind of hanging out near the top rune right now. Yeah. Tron getting his ward down. And we're underway with our deciding game number three. They are going to scout Pile I Die moving in. Puppy's there to support him. He's actually going to run up the ramp, it looks like. But Newbie are going to back off. Tron looking for his pulls and, and stacks, and Puppy looking to contest. So, Legion versus Void. Uh, is this a matchup where Legion does well? Much. Yes. The, the new Void it's... doesn't seem like he would be nearly as good in a, a 1v1 yep. as it's... when you have backtrack. Legion favorite. But I think Void can do okay. You, you, he's going to have to get at least one point bash, maybe even prioritize it more. It's gone level one bash, but I could see him going for like a, mainly points in bash in this one v one matchup. I think just to give him a fighting chance. The one thing I do really like for newbie is that they're running a much better matchup mid compared to last game. Something that can truly dominate yeah. your spirit early. But we have seen even when Weeha doesn't have a good start that he still has a big impact. Moo will be off to the races here early. But the Legion having a really great time. Yeah, and I think that's yeah, lane which he should win pretty handily. And you, you try and right-click down the Legion, he just trades hits with you, then gets the lifesteal box. And so that's double attacking you, so it gets, gets pretty hard for the Void to actually stay in that lane. It's going to go through quite a bit of regen, I imagine. Big kick there on the Moo. We huh? getting ready for the rune spawn now, as it is going to clip two minutes, and he'll grab himself an arcane rune. Bounty has spawned bottom, and looks like potentially Miser could go grab that if he wants to leave the lane. We'll see. So things very different with the laning setup early on. A tri lane on tri lane, and two 1v1s. And this, for the tri lane, the biggest thing is going to be how the, the pull can work, because that's where you can deny XP and you secure yourself levels and farm. More, most importantly for newbie, under the tower, get like life to level three, level four, and put the creep wave in a place where he can get maximize his farm. So getting that double pull off really helps newbie a lot. But they pull camps being blocked, they didn't actually find the radiant sentry just yet. So uh, doing so is going to be, I think, pretty important. It looks like it's just in range, but they didn't actually scout it out on the other side yet. Mm. That will definitely hurt the dire side. So you've seen the Radiant able to get their pulls off, and the good news for Doobie though is their solos are actually doing very well here. Death Prophet having a great time mid as you'd expect, and the Void 15 and 3, so it apparently is able to hold his own in this matchup. And even come out on top. Yeah, using this, it looks like this pull camp has been a kind of key tool for him just to. He, he doesn't want to be in a position where he's trading hits with Misery, so he just pull, does the pull camp, it denies maybe part of his creep wave, and then. Misery's creep wave pushes to his tower where he can farm just fine with poor man's shield, get a quelling blade if he needs to, and he's just going to prioritize more on farming than trying to kill Misery, at least until he's level 6 or something. Secret have left the tribe, oh, though. Yeah. They've gone for a smoke. They're going to be revealed here. Hello. Yeah, good movement by Lay to scout them out, and Moo was aware of the potential oh, for the rotation. And Lifesteal is jungle. They're actually going to leave the Zeus top, so we kind of question, like, how does the Lifesteal work as a support, but... He ends up kind of playing this greedy fourth position role. Something I've seen Chuan do this in the past when he was on IG, where he he like, was playing Lion as a safe lane farmer, while their Luo would play like a Lycan or something and just go jungle. So this is something like Chuan's had some experience with playing this like farming fourth position role. Yeah, and way greedy. back on IG he played that uh, like four position bat rider even at times. Yeah. So. Definitely something in the Chuan playbook. He, he likes to get farm as far as supports go. And I like it because I think Zeus is like a really kind of weak support. He, he's, you need him to be getting items, be it Aether Lens, Four Staffs, Yule, Scepters. He needs levels as well. So playing him even as like a four position support like is not going to work well unless he gets a ton of farm. Envy in the offlane, not getting quite as much farm as he's accustomed to. But he's still having a pretty good time here. Seeing the Rubik backing him up for now. Where, where's Puppy off to? Bottom lane. He's not bottom. Yeah. But until they get dual, there's... Actually, with dual, they've got a decent kill potential. Mm. Not Maybe not these two alone, but definitely with a plus one. Yeah, but too late. Topping the CS chats. Just sm smart itemization. He picked up the Ring of Regen from the, the side shop to give him that bit of 
HP regen sustain in the lane. Yeah, you kind of have to match what the Legion gets from the, the lifesteal. Very, it's just so, I love how unusual everything feels this patch. Like more so than some of the recent patches. Mm -hmm. And even going from game to game, you're seeing something different like every single time it feels they like. They have caught out the little Rubik. They don't want to let him get away. This could be your first blood. Pine line die is going to go down. Weeha though, suddenly just appears out of nowhere, apparates in and goes to work with the Magthys, dropping some extra stones and laying a delay. He needs a little more damage to get this kill. A couple more whacks, one last. Brennan will get the job done, but Moose ready to turn it around. We, oh, the silence was almost there in time. Barely able to roll himself up and away to the other cliff, so they force out the exorcism into the death of rotation, but they do get first blood to somewhat make it work. I don't think, you don't normally get that early point in silence. He was saving his point. Um, but yeah, not finding kill up that end. If he was like a quarter of a second sir, they might have gotten a kill. It's going to be close. Yeah. Well. Not, I mean, I still think advantage newbie, like, mood rotates, but as does the Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit, a hero that doesn't need to farm, wants to be rotating more, but Dyer's first blood going the way newbie. Um, and then only losing a support, Earthshaker, who spent all his money before he died as well, so it was it was no loss for, for newbie's lay there. The, the Void also rotated during that, so he's now back, he okay. was mid, now yeah, he's yeah, back yeah. to the jungle. Uh, and they've given this bottom lane over to the Earthshaker. Iron Talents out. Please, please, Volvo. Please change. <laughs> it sounds like a dying animal. I'm gonna go into like my config files. I don't even know how you do that, but I'm gonna figure out how to do it just because of Iron Talent. I just delete the item in the game. No, no, you can't do that, LD. Please, <laughs> please. I can't, I can't jungle on get sports. MMR. <laughs> how will I infuriate my teammates? Iron Talent on support dazzle. What are the average MMR gain per Iron Talent? Purchases and when it starts to drop off, how many iron talents is optimal? Radiance middle tower. I've seen oh, quite no, a lot of two iron. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah. oh yeah, one, one like five iron talents. Let's go. Eat your armor. It's so amazing on like Night Stalker is probably the best iron talent in the game. Like there's some heroes that's just like, amazing on. Yeah. He's so good jungle because of his oh, HP regen and his his base armor and stats. I've seen it work on everyone. Honestly, yeah. all in Phoenix it worked on. We saw it work. Quite well, even on Darkseer to get the first few levels. Let me tell you, it works on supports too. Dazzles, like, sure, why not? I've, I've, tr I've tested it. You're ruining Take my word for, for the it. next generation. Only with random gold, though. So you random a dazzle, you go Iron Talent. You buy the courier so your team can't get mad, and then you buy Iron Talent. Everything goes smoothly. So they have switched up the lanes here now, and oh, Void getting a little nervous. He knows that duel is ready. Looks like Zeus is ready to head bottom and try and... He's already level 6. Yeah. This is a good time for them to strike. Yep. What a level for the 2-2-1 two, two, build. Only the 2 points in Volt. Fissure damage as well, so they... Well, let's say they should be able to kill most heroes, but Misery's got 1200 they, HP. Do they just smoke? you very fire. Yeah, this is an easier kill, and perhaps a more important kill. Kill the tempo controller rather than, like, the, the gotta farming quick, hero. though. It's a little tough with that short time walk range. They're going to creep up on Weeha. Oh, we almost got out of there, too. Quick reactions, but it doesn't quite work out in the end. Yeah. Almost turned that in, too. Pie shows, oh, pie. Oh, he's going to be turned into some apple pie for newbie to gobble right up. I'll have a little snack on him. Yeah, nice. Next quick play Radiance coming up. Granny Radiance Delicious. The Void. Radiance Good smart first rotation. Like, Legion Commander has 1200 HP, and it's not a guaranteed kill. It's also a less important kill than the Earth Spirit, so. So, yeah, it was in fact two heroes going down there. Newbie looking for the tower mid as well. And too late. Tanking it up. It's kind of a what? cool aspect of the Void. That you, if they can't lock you down, you can just tank the tower and then yep. time walk it off. This loves Midas pickup. Yeah, it looks like he's I want to see Midas. a more farm void. It's yep. been I, I don't think I've seen one in an actual competitive hey, match. The Iron Talents, the four man's Midas. He's like I'm, I'm not part of this game. I was CSer earlier. You get the actual Midas. one Midas for each hand, an Iron Talent for one, and the an actual Midas for the other. But misery he's is going for the aggression yeah. here. Press the blink dagger. Cool. The Zeus ulti. Oh, that may have scattered the blink with the Zeus ulti. But if they clicked him, hmm. I'm not sure if they did. Yeah, and he, I think he picked up the blink after it hit, but depending how long he they kept vision, may or may not have. 
So, how does the game develop here? They've now got their Legion blink. Normally, see teams look for a, a gank with that. Yeah, uh, Legion will look to team up with Earth Spirit and Terrorblade. Uh, Terrorblade with Metamorph can look to go for some kills, but mostly uh, NV is going to want to farm and split push. But the the big thing is finding some dual kills over the next five ten minutes. And for, for newbie, it's going to come around to finding oh. the Chronosphere kills. Whenever they, they wanna, have Chrono, they want to fight. They want to fight the Death Prophet. They're wrapping around here. Moo is out a bit far. The blink-in comes from Misery. Had a second to react, but... Oh, Moo. Locked down, controlled, and dealt with. Even through the Viz, we're not able to get out. That duel keeping him in, in Secret's clutches. I like how they bring Envy in as well, because without that Metamorph damage, I don't think they would have got the dual damage. Earth Spirit alone wasn't going to provide necessary damage in the time to get the dual. But this looks like a danger zone for Secret. No dual, no Metamorph. Oh, Chwani and Fest Bomb Zeus is coming up to the top lane. Meanwhile, wrapped around is the Void, so they're going to find their first kill here on Pylai Daya, and then the second counter kill comes onto Chwan, but Weeha's in some danger as Misery retreats out up to the north. Weeha trapped in the trees. Fissure's there, and Chant Totem, great control. And they will manage to bring him down. Very nicely done there by Newbie with some unconventional Zeus gank bombs. Yeah, the Zeus kick bombs, the, the jungle lifestyle coming out. It's, it's weird to just, it's kind of like, I forgot there's like a lifestyle in this game in some ways, not to say how's like had low impact, it's just, hey, you, you expect the hero just to be in the lane and I'm wondering what how farming is, more. is going for, he's up to 1600, do they get it? They're Midas here? Uh, he bought drums, I guess, oh, he just spent some money. Okay. Yeah, he has Bracer, I'm not. I think he won drums. Then. Go for the race car build, that's the, the old school build. So face drums. I don't think we'll see any ancient shenanigans since he didn't get the tranquil boots. They want to fight again. They've got Zeus ult. They've got Chrono. Yeah, and they're gonna also play around Moo, so they not necessarily smoke with him, but they want to be out in a position where they can protect him, create space for him. Death Prophet's one here. They don't want to have. Uh, oh, and they, this is the envy hate trade. <laughs> oh. No stops until they find him, and they will. Chrono's there. Zeus is gonna lay in the damage into the Chrono. They're gonna hang on to the Fissure until the final moment, and then they smack him down. Absolutely no way Envy gets out of that. But Secret do get a tower top, so some sort of trade. And Newbie in a position to get a counter. They got an exorcism. Though, and, yeah, it's it's not like Secret can even come and defend this one despite Chrono being used because exorcism's up and Newbie are in position with five heroes. So if you're teeping in, you're teeping one by one. But Secret's play is to then pressure the tier two, which as weird as Newbie's draft felt. The way they're like moving the heroes around, you know, putting the Zeus to get farm top, uh, setting the lifestyle into the jungler, into the jungle, ganking well with the ultimates and the fast bomb Zeus. It looks cloudy. It's been very effective. It, uh, yeah, and the, the play itself has been standard. It's just the like the laning setup and the, the picks themselves, which are like, Twan's actually a support, but he's playing a safe lane farming Zeus. House in the jungle role. So they try to glimpse him back, but nice play. How with the rage? Just be big careful while rage is on cooldown. He knows they're nearby still and. He'll wait out the rage cooldown before farming the lane. They do have the exorcism ready. I wonder if they're going to try to fight with it. As Misery makes his way towards mid, is he going to go for a duel on the Death Prophet? Uh, it looks like he might. He gets ready. He's going to press the attack and jump on in. The long range roll comes through and move. Caught out again. Is there a turnaround? Play gets yeah. stunned on the initiation. And he then what? That will be glimpsed back and boulders will be pulled away from him for good measure. So he does end up going back for Vlad's, and it'll be your completely standard the Void build in the end. Yeah, two successful dual kills in a row onto Death Prophet, really slowing down her, her net worth game. Needs that Yule's real bad. Could have easily lived uh, if she had one. And would have had it without the deaths. Yep. But big picture-wise, I think Nubian, they've got kind of four cores this game, so they're still looking... All right, they're getting a, just a bit more out of the map as a whole. And their their hard support is an Earthshaker, <laughs> yeah. who's a, like can be a carry. He's on his way to a blink. He's sitting on 700 gold, so we're still not looking like he's going to have a terribly late timing on his blink dagger. And it looks like they want to go on to Moo again, bottom lane. There is a Chrono to maybe turn this if they jump him. And two ladies in position to scout things out. The Hammerhead pokes his head out. The Siphon will get stolen now by Pi. We'll see how much mileage Ruby can get out of that one. Do you get the charges, or is it just one? I wonder if he builds up charges or not. It says just one for now. Not sure. Death Prophet is two, Rubik one. Not sure if it's accumulating. I see it. 
Oh, it is yeah, it's really showing hard. like the bar moving. Okay. Looks so like... yeah, he'll he'll stop building up charges. I guess we'll find out. Probably not your ideal steal, steal, but he'll take what he can get. Yeah, it's it's okay. Crips won't be a bit better with the ability to instant clear creep waves with the fade bolt and Crips won. So life is gonna get an armlet here. Another we'll smoke it, it looks soon. like coming out. Yeah, newbie looking to use ultimates and they want to be the ones jumping and taking the initiative. They're gonna and not clash letting... here maybe. Yeah. Puppy's almost there. Break the smoke, not quite in position. He's walking up the cliff. He will break it right as they get on top of the three, and they are gonna commit a Kronos. A lot of Zeus nuke damage, and newbie will grab another kill. This one a big one on one of the most farm secret heroes. But Envy is not dying, and Envy is the leader in CS here, so yep. it's kind of feeling like a. A standard secret game where they just look for Envy to get massively farmed, whereas Newbie are the ones really playing the up-tempo aggression and trying for picks. Haven't seen too much out of Weave yet this game, though. This has been one of his quieter Earth Spirit games. He had a couple deaths when he made his first rotations, and Newbie sent the like, first Chronosphere mid to kill him, so that was a kind of key way of slowing down just his general momentum. It's been much more about Misery getting space and farm and what he can do. He's already level 11. This is a pretty big Legion commander, so killing him there was actually a, a high value kill. When you go in, they get the Boulder kick off to start it, and then they roll on delay, and well, progress towards the Blink Dagger will be yep. delayed for another day. Ooh, meanwhile, Void gets pulled back into a duel. Beautiful grab by Puppy, and that's another winner. Misery, racking him up. Nice. Really good. Pick off there with the glimpse. So armlet up on how? And I believe the void is going blink as well. So that that delayed two blinks with one gank. He saved up quite a bit of money here. Didn't actually end up going for the the Midas. As much as it looked like he might. And Mu finds a oh top lane as well. Here comes the push from Secret. They're gonna take down the tier two. Envy's really good at getting a lot of value out of the Metamorph. Like, he, it was mid where he got the kill and then farmed the jungle with it. This time around, he gets the kill uh, at top and then he transitions into a tower. So, it's never just for like one kill or one objective. He always like maximizes his efficiency with the, the Metamorph duration. Chuan thinking about using the ult. It looks like he may be going for a, a Veil here as well. Yeah. Always good just with Zeus, but yeah. they don't have too much other magic damage. Oh, it's pretty good, I'd say. Like, Crypt Swarm, Fissure, that's definitely good. And now they're gonna try and secure Roshan. With Exorcism up, I don't see a good way for Secret to try and come and fight this. It is, it is, they are grouped up here, so a Static Swarm, Kinetic Field could do a lot of work in the pit. It's but... gonna die real yeah, quick, though. Yeah, more than anything, that's the big problem. Unless you burst down Death Prophet, you lose the fight as well, I feel. Well, this is two games... This is two or three. Uh, at least two games now where Nubia have just been very aggressive about going for Roshan. Yeah. It's very much part of like their overall just... Like, that, that's like their strategy, and not just their, their drafts, but their, their, their style as a team. They want to be on the dire side, Secret are happy to play from the Radiant. Um, and Secret play the farm game, Nubia play the Roshan yep. pressure game. It's definitely a clear clash in styles. But Exorcism is down now and Secret know it, so Mu will need to be careful. They're getting close to these Blink Daggers. You see the Earthshaker zeroing in on his, as is too late. Mu thinking about BKB. Okay, goes Ogre Club, then goes Mithril Hammer, so... We'll see a BKB first, that's kind of your counter item to the Earth Spirit, as well as Disruptor. And Secret want to keep finding, they want to keep splitting the map, getting farm on like Envy in one side of the map, Misery another, and then have like we looking to either go gank the lane where the Terrorblade is, find a kill with Metamorph, or gank the lane where the Legion Commander is to get a dual kill. So Secret, it's kind of like this pick off and then split push kind of pr approach where Newbie, they're going to want to five man, use their ultis, take team fights where possible. I haven't been able to take down too many towers just yet, which is maybe their kind of next big objective, but they've got to do that around the Exism. Like, outside of Exism, their lineup is very poor at pushing until Life Sealer gets much more farm on him. Alright, in team does have a sliver vision there. So they see heroes moving about. Blink is up on Shaker. Going for a bit of dewarding, but Chuan's not going to find anything. 
still quiet though. They've got one blink. Second one's not far off. I'm wondering once that second blink is online if we see newbie ramp it up. Mm -hmm. All these great items to fight now, the the armlet that they'll flank, the Yules into a BKB. But not Dyer's using them just yet. They throw the Zeus ulti, they get a bit nervous it looks like, just unsure of where some of these heroes are and also, just when you know you haven't got exorcism, like during that small little window, they're perhaps worried about secret take, getting a jump on them. So, and look at this, man! This map vision is so limited for secret that Zeus just constantly spamming these bolts out, and just the one, one or two observer what's up on the map right now. Makes it harder for Envy to farm. I think he is still leading here, though. Here we go. And there's your infest bomb. Who will take support? Special at this point. delivery. They didn't really... A bucket full of life stealer coming right up. But Envy has a BKB, so he won't be an easy target, but that's not <laughs> the one they're going for. You can see Secret circling that jungle, knowing that there's, this is the danger zone, but... You just camp back with the Earthshaker now, just... Okay, you don't find the pick, you go for the push. You've got Exorcism. Unfortunately, like, they can't... If Secret don't defend, I still feel like they need to use Exorcism, even just for the T2 tower, because of how lacking in damage they are. But Secret may actually come try and fight this one with the fresh BKB on Envy. We're gonna find out if they look to hold this quite soon. Shaker sneaking through the trees right now to the south side. And Newbie in position with their double blink for a very bold maneuver. His blink's, I think, gone unscouted as well. I don't know. I don't think either but... one was scouted. Okay, so Shaker's been, blinks, yeah. Shaker's been like warming his way through the trees. <laughs> and yeah, Radiant Vision hasn't been there to scout these blinks out as well. They're trying to send out illusions to figure out what's going on, but... Oh, they just missed on the void. And now they're gonna be banned. Remember, it's nighttime. Still no radiant vision of either blink, but they do have to. They, they almost certainly know the whole team is right behind him. And House says, "Screw it, I'm gonna go hit things." Pops out of the infest, and then, well, no creep wave. And Secret who want to make their move in. House trying to heal up on the wave. That lineup's so slow at pushing. Like they have to use Exorcism anytime. Oh, now they're they going in the blade mail dual combo, but the fish comes through. It's not enough. Moo dies to his own Exorcism. Great grab there by Misery, and now it could be Howe's next trapped out of trees, calling out Aegis down. Chrono already committed. Zeus ult down, Death Prophet ult down, Death Prophet dead. How could be next? Heavy physical damage, good fissure follow up there, but Misery has had a hell of a game on this yeah, it was initiation from the Legion. That was so good, and Shikir couldn't even get an Echo Slam off that fight. He's just sitting there like, who do I go? Terribly just picked up a, a BKB. Could have gone and finished off the Legion Commander, who Misery not only did the great initiation off, he made the smart decision just instant to TP out after getting the kill, recognizing how low he was. And if Shika goes in, make Blink Echoes, he's gonna die for it. Like, perhaps trading his life for the Legions is okay, but he needed to stay alive to keep the life stealer. Um, so, they need a BKB on the Death Prophet. That, yeah. that much is clear. Even with the BKB, that, that same duel could still happen. Oh, and your Echo, Envy getting controlled, but not fully. He's able to pop the ultimate. Does live to tell the devil, and backs in some way. Zeus blasts him off the map, but in exchange, a massive magnetize from Weeha on the three heroes. It's enough to bring them low. The Void barely surviving as he walks away, and how rampages forward. They've gotten three. They're looking for a fourth. Can they bring down Weeha? Oh, does manage to TP up. Can't believe the Void survived Dyer's that, but somehow he did, and only Earth Spirit and Disruptor live to go back and write sad songs about their defeat. That, that Blink Shaker initiation. He didn't actually reveal his Blink in the last fight as well. There's a good chance he still did not know about it because he just stayed in fog throwing fishes last fight. He used the Blink to like blink backwards and escape the trees, but he blinked from like fog to somewhere else in fog, so I think Envy still probably did not even know there was a Blink go on the side of newbie there when and they're also push. just they're thinking exorcism is down chrono yeah. is down they only have zeus ult right now this is a good time to fight but yeah that echo was the the wild card and now the veil comes out along with the bkb newbie getting some crucial new items to continue fueling their aggression and they will have a fresh round of ultimates to work with here Oh, how though? He might be in trouble. Is he gonna get the rage off him? He does pop it, quickly sprints away. Legion Commander on the hop, but not able to close the gap. Tule was there to maybe turn things around. And they might go for smoke here. Five heroes yeah. group, no radiant vision. They're gonna quickly bolt to ensure. And then they move in. Shaker the vehicle. Highlight die might be the target. There's a tank. Another game. 
loves to get Misery. Uh, the oh, dude's all through. They're gonna lock him down with the Chrono Spear there, but Misery's very tanky. You can see the blade belt. They need the damage and stolen. Chrono comes out. It locks up all of them in position. Beautiful Rubik play, but it's not gonna be enough. They still, still lose. Chasing. Still chasing. Oh, okay. back. I mean, it was a sick Rubik, but unfortunately, they are had their target under control. In case you're using Zeus ult to, to make sure Legion doesn't play. And then you get, you get the vision, you lock out. Find the key pick up on Legion. You don't really care about killing the Rubik there on. Right, Rubik is getting closer to a blink in a game where there's a lot of good spells to steal. Yeah. He's holding onto the Chronosphere, but uh, there's a lot, a lot of amazing spells. But Chronosphere, I feel like, is like an average one. It's not actually that amazing. You haven't if, got the best damage. You got a Static Storm. It's pretty good. Yeah. But... If your team has amazing AOE, it's yeah. a lot better, but they're they're not great. It can control the the Life Stealer pretty well. But, uh, it's the same problem Newbie have with the the Life Stealer. The Legion can't really right click people inside the Chronosphere too well. It's going to be placed very well to, to lock down the Terror Blade. You'd much rather get like a Fissure and Exorcism. Some Zeus nukes are always pretty good. But Newbie, recognizing they're now Exorcism's down, they're going to back off a little bit. But as Exorcism comes down, Echo comes back up. So if they can find pickoffs, they'll at least go for it. And because of how reliant they are on Exorcism, they're going to go straight into the Octarine Core. Pretty standard item build, but I think a lot of death. If they had other da good damage sources, they may go for the plate mail slash shivers because you need to survive the terror like terribly legions, all physical damage. But newbie want to be able to take objectives. They're not just itemized purely defensively. So envy goes back for the blink terror blade. We saw this yesterday from him. What are your you were asking that game? What are your thoughts on the the blink terror blade? I, I think Blink, it's like, it's an envy item. It, it allows him to split push, it gives him great mobility to increase his just farming efficiency as well as to push a lane really deep and then Blink out as soon as he feels he's in a bit of danger. So um, I think it's less about the hero necessarily, more about the play style of Secret as a team and Envy as a player, which it's just, it's perfectly suited to them. And I think it's one of those items which is starting to just get I guess you could say abuse more and more. We saw a Bristleback rush a Blink Dagger last game. It's it's just being proven to be one of the best items to have on a carry who needs to be dishing out right-click damage. Let's see how it pays off this time around as Miha goes back to farming his jungle and maybe again have a fresh round of ultimates ready. Looks like they might be moving the mid lane. Where do they want to go? Roshan not up for a minute and a half. Perhaps some warding isn't on the menu. See Chuan clean now on his Zeus So newbie, 28 minutes in, needing 12 to 8 here, and I imagine we'll be cruising for a fight pretty soon. Yeah. And newbie's going fairly stable and safe with their item choices. Like going for the Zeus, it's a good dispel for the Magnetize. They're going for BKBs on their core heroes. Uh, I don't know. I think life's still probably so, but Death Prophet has BKB. Uh, there was BKB being built on Void instead of Ag Scepter as well, which is not your normal Void build, but wanting to have the BKB to guarantee that he can get up an Earth Spirit Silence, uh, get out of the Disruptor Silence, so not get caught out by this and glimpse. And counter the glimpse as well. Yeah. So just very safe, stable play coming out from Newbie. Basically saying, look, you're not going to beat us by just catching us out with a pickoff. You've got to make like a big out, like you've got to really out execute us or out split push us to to win this game. So Pylai die does get scouted out by that Zeus hold and ends up blinking away. They're continuing to give Chuan a lot of farm priority. Staying up there nicely on the support. Uh, the secret supports, as, as per usual, are quite a bit farther behind. Very sacrificial roles for Puppy and Pi. So even Lay's going for a, a BKB, it looks like. Gets his own oh, wow. club. Yeah. Now it's going to find Puppy. Oh, but he gets Islands very early on in this one. He does have the Rage Bell, but he's just going to TP out. The rest of Newbie will disengage, but Envy blinks in. He sees opportunity to lay by the Chrono for this. They do get the Glimpse back. That forced out a BKB, and on the south side of the fight, the Earthshaker did get dueled, picked off by Misery. So they force out a BKB. They get a kill on the Shaker. And they're going to force Newbie to back away. Misery 3k gold, his great kick continues. Up to over 50 jewel damage now. 
not like a huge amount considering you're three minutes in, but it's really hard to get jewels in, a, in games like this where you're not getting many kills to begin with. And they're just amazing so defensively, as yeah. you pointed out. Yeah. Secret are going to try to take a tower off after that pick off. And they will succeed. Tier 1 drops bottom. Newbie, not quite yet ready to fight. Pierce. Yeah, they're at halfway to a couple different BKBs on their team, the Void, as well as the Shaker, so... If we want to spend a bit more time farming, even with Exorcism Online, at most they go for pickoffs or go for a Roshan and then take the fight to secret, like really in like a. Like, like, let's siege your tier twos, your high ground when they have those BKBs. Are they going to go Rosh? I'm really curious if Life Still even considers a BKB as well. I, they, they've got such good damage output from heroes like Zeus, like Death Prophet Ultimate, that it's not essential to get Deso, but for sieging high ground, Deso is amazing. Well, Secret just got a little vision of that void jump, but they are not going to contest again. Newbie will commit the death but all yeah, this to secure the stages. This is too tricky to come in, come into these rush fights. The Life still take it, buys another mithril hammer, so it'll be death later. So yeah, we're going to see like four or five items come out for Newbie in the next three to five minutes. Some big ones here. The Death Prophet Octarine likely underway, the Earthshaker BKB, the Void BKB, the Deso on the Life Dealer, and you know, at that point, we may actually see them really try to force the issue. Yeah, Secret's done such a good job defending their towers up until now that they've got tier twos on every single lane, so they can just look to stall, throw out like Earth Spirit Boulder Smashes, throw out Legion Commander overwhelming odds, and just delay the push and not actually take the fight. And by the time, I don't feel like Newbie can push a tier 2 as well as high ground during this Aegis duration. Uh, as, considering they also want to finish off these BKBs, so... Mid lane, looks like they might jump the Earth Spirit. They do come in all of a sudden, a little Earth Space, Earth Shaker special. It's going to spit out the Spirit, and that will force out a pause from Envy. To have a moment of silence for his dead friend, Mr. Weeha. So Envy goes back for a Diffusal Blade on the Terror Blade. Mm -hmm. This isn't super... <clears throat> Unusual item I, itemization. I want to say he did this in his last Terrorblade game. He loves diffusals lately. I mean, you, you, we were joking yeah. about his Spectre. The, the double diffusals, <laughs> you know, uh, even buying the second one when he still had like four charges left on the initial diffusal blade. It is the most cost effective adjunct in the game. Um, especially level two diffusal is you, you get 35 agi for it for a really cheap cost. Only Ethereal Blade gives more agi at 40, and that's costs like 50% more than a level two diffusal does. So, Agi, and that's that's your illusions. Like they get they get damage attacks coming out from the Agi, so they get that, that that that's kind of best bang for your buck as far as beefing your illusions in terms of damage split push. Uh, the diffusal effect itself can be nice when you're dealing with ghost scepters, which is not the case. I don't think we. Yeah, see... I mean that's that's the one for this game because the active doesn't really feel that good. You can remove step profit times, but you could all just get a manta for yeah. that. So it helps you chase and you and get kills though, because your reflection slow is pretty small. I think it's 20% or something, 20, 25, 25 percent movement speed slow. So some of these really fast here, you've got a drums. Drums life stealer, you've got the the death for the SMI life stealer, death poverty, who's got yules. So, if you're gonna be able to kill these heroes when you find them, the defusal used offensively just to slow them and purge them can be a nice way to guarantee kills later on in team. Fights. I'm very curious to see how effective it is in the upcoming yeah. fights because they at the same time they have a ton of just heavy burst damage. Where, you know, he may not be chasing anyone, he gets caught out. Yeah, and he, he's quite squishy compared to the normal Terrorblade build. Like, we saw Silar the other day, you know, go for the very traditional Scotty build up, so he had a lot more HP, much more difficult to chain and stun and burst down, but and we will need to be quick on his BKB here. Yeah, if he gets caught by a Blinko, he's just done for, but... Or, a, or a Chrono, probably. Yeah, Chrono, same thing. I guess just thinking, like, even if I go the tanky build, there's a good chance I die, even gone. with the Scotty, or, like, a Satanic. I mean, Butterfly, well, I mean, Butterfly, it's not the life seal in the Chrono, it's just like the Zeus damage and all that. If he gets chain stunned without getting his BKB off, he's dead, I guess, regardless of what items he has. And we'll see, yeah, BKB's close to completion for Void. Yeah, so they're about to have all four of those items that I mentioned. Yeah. Uh, just maybe the Shaker Blink not, or the BKB not maybe. quite ready. But that that's not really an essential item. I mean, newbie just have teamfight 
specialists all over the place going into the late game. <clears throat> like, Zeus is one of the late game beasts as far as damage damage output, just through his passive. Then you've got teamfight ultimates like Chrono, X-Slam, Exorcism. That is the one interesting thing with this build, is uh, that he's... You know, he is up against Zeus as Terrorblade, which is generally considered a pretty bad matchup for the TB. So, maybe part of the reason why he doesn't want heavy stats, yeah. since it'll be countered by the passive anyway. You can look to jump in and try and kill the Zeus's. Like, Zeus has to be one of the top priorities in the team fight because he's going to... Next to Death Prophet Exorcism, he probably does the, the most damage. You know, even and more one of than the life to kill if you do catch him. Yeah. Right, I think Zeus, if left alone, like, you, even if you ignore, like, life still left alone, does that person is left alone. Yeah, DP probably does about the same. Yeah. But here we go. Secret on the hunt forward. They're going to sprint in, but lays in the trees in a perfect position to break this one out, except Weeha's too quick. He gets the instant kickoff. He rolls forward past him. The Fissure does connect on three, and then he blinks out where Wee is waiting for him, but so too is the rest of Newbie. And Wee's in pretty far. He's popped the BKB together with the veil. BKBs start getting come coming out real quickly. And does Secret actually want to fight into this? Wee says, no, hell no. I want to get out of there. Pylite Dai tries to engage, but he's going to get caught much down by How, and the chase is on now. Newbie have turned this uh, completely on its head. Three make it four down if they can just swat misery, and they will. It's all up to Envy now. And Envy says, screw that, man. I'm out. Three hero chrono. That was... That was a really long dive by Weeha. Yeah, we... Got it looks like a sick catch there. there. He, he instantly stunned him. Yeah, he instantly found the Earthshaker, but then he got a three hero fissure and he rolled past him, so he's yeah. able to just blink away. He missed he missed the follow up to the boulder smash, unfortunately, and this could be real costly. They have used all their ultimates aside from Echo, so newbie might have to back if they see buybacks, but fortunately for them, Secret don't have any with the Desolator. How is gonna munch through building? They'll get at least the one melee racks here. Maybe they even rotate on mid, still holding the Aegis. The AC's coming soon. Heroes not gonna fully respawn until 25 seconds from now. Oh, they find Puppy. Puppy will get caught out. And the oh. stolen Zeusult? Yeah. Not enough for the kill. Managed to get him at a bad time for the armlet top with the armlet on. Oh man, secret. That fight could have been so different if they just killed the Shaker right away. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It does show you the power of these drafts, though. Just so many game-changing ultimates that you just need one or two to connect, and things and, quickly fall apart and for you, Secret. It's like, not like there's any one hero that's super farm for newbie, which means you win a fight like that, suddenly all these four heroes get a ton of farm and gold, are going to keep getting like a big item. Like an ace on a, on a life seal is a big upgrade. The Octarine or the Shiva is a big upgrade on the Death Prof. Void gets another arm. Zeus had 4k gold as well. I mean, say 4 core. I would even say 5. Yeah, Look at Earthshaker. He's up there with the Earth Spirit. It's... And he's got a BKB. You've got five heroes who could have a huge impact on a team fight with through items as well as levels and spells. And then like for the supports on Secret, they're very much supports. Like they have the ability to change a team fight through their spell usage and positioning, but haven't got the items to protect them or to have an impact on the fight. They haven't got the BKBs. Like Rubik has a blink dagger. That's probably about as good as it gets. And that's there's nothing more than coming out from from the side of Team Secret's support. It's very much like a three core with your supports lineup on the, the newbie side, it's a completely different story. But this is the farm distribution we see pretty much every game Secret, yeah. that it's it's two hyper farmed heroes and then the other three are very far down. Mm -hmm. And in this particular case, it is not working out as far as the numbers go. Well, Maybe way on top. I guess the uh, AC means gold lead. those reflections illusion gets, gets a bit scarier. That's perhaps slightly good news. Reflection, one of those things like the lay of the game goes, Terrorblade Reflection is like an ownage spell, but it's actually not that good against Void, Death Prophet, or Zeus, because they're none of these are great heroes to get illusions of. Yeah, but the the life still one will be at least slightly annoying for him to, to fight into. If your reflection got exorcism, things would be different. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. House gonna take down the tower here, bottom. Just commit the Radiance rage for it. Bottom tower has fallen. And that is the last outer tower of the game. All the ults online, aside from the salt. Shiva's complete Octarine not far off from Mu after that. Did he not have Octarine yet? Uh, oh, he wow. stopped getting it to okay. get the Shiva's, I think. Yeah. So just wants to make sure he lives, which... Yep. And considering how much damage Newbie put out, and 
how good their sustained team fight is. It seems like living is the... Just don't yeah. die to a duel, basically, and you're, you're A-OK. -okay. Did you see what the, the Zeus got with all his money? He was like 4k gold. Oh, he's gonna get a Lotus Orb. Or sorry, a Lincoln Sphere. That's gonna make this... Or is he... I mean, he could even... This Legion's not gonna have much fun uh, getting jewels off. It'll... I imagine it's Lincoln since he got the purse. Yeah. Lincoln's versus the Legion. Will... I mean, that's like the, the only playmaking spell I feel Secret really have. Yeah, you have Glimpse, but there's a lot of BKBs, there's Rage. Our Spirit is... And that is the issue for the mid Earth Spirit, is at this stage of the game, he can't really solo yeah. carry the game any longer. Man, this could be the first Earth Spirit lost in a long time. It lost for like maybe a game here or there in the group stage, but for the playoffs, I think it's been undefeated. And when it's won, it's been played like six times, seven times, or something ridiculous. Yeah, I'd... I don't know. I feel like usually in this situation, Secret have the ticking time palm draft where they just have so much late game that they're content just farming, but it does not yeah. seem like that this time around. And you get the, the Ags for sure on the Earth Spirit. That's going to be one of their late game kind of salvation options as far as having the ability to kick heroes into the fountain, in the tier fours, or just the hell away from the rest of their team. It can save heroes who get caught in the Chronosphere as well. You turn them to stone. Um, I, it's absolutely essential here and something that we need before if newbie get like an eight secure the next roshan and look to push with aegis with cheese he needs to have an axe there or i think the game is oh, just value awesome. arcane rune and a big chrono to start this one off by two lay he's gonna jump misery he seems tanky and then zeus shows up and suddenly he's dead <laughs> no my god Chuan <clears throat> is beasting on the little man I think the Earth Spirit would need to like sell items to get to the eggs faster. That's how desperate this situation is for the item. Like, the Veil, I guess, is just so. I was thinking if you had a Blade Mail, you sell a Blade Mail at this stage, but he actually skipped on that, went for the BKB Veil. So, at most, you can sell your wand here. You want to keep your Veil. And he's only halfway to the Ag Scepter. He, he needs to find farm on the map and needs to do so as soon as possible. I don't know how much time he's going to get, though. Yeah. And they're. The hero is not the flash farmer at this stage. Nope, not at all. Oh, he goes back for blink, so no eggs. Okay. But I... speaking of eggs, Void is about to go. So newbie are gonna have easy and regular pickoff potential. Yep. And here comes an Aegis push. So you get well, cheese. So if they want to wait, they could get the Octarine, get yeah. the eggs on the Void coming out right now. I don't know if they really need the Octarine, though. It's not essential by any means. He's got the Arcane Rune if he they, it soon. And even if you don't get the, like, let's say, Secret Repel you, but you don't lose your Aegis, you'll have another chance with Aegis, Ultimate, and you'll have Octarine for the next push. So, this way you can have a couple jabs at the high ground with Aegis Cheese, depending on how, how it pans out. With They're the coming. Defense. Envy's just trying to get that little bit of extra gold. Does not have a TP right now. Doesn't have buyback. Or does he have buyback? Well, yeah. Envy's got some issues here. He's, he's going all in on the Scotty. Yeah, I, I I definitely think he needs another item at this point, so. Say it, buyback. Buyback on your Terrorblade is not going to turn this game around. Radiant Up on front. How? Munching on the tower. And quickly bringing it down. He does get silenced up by the Earth Spear, but he really doesn't care about that. He's going to bring it down, and Newbie are going to force some commitment out of Secret. And how he wishes he had the axe. This positioning just so yeah. hard to deal with. I think he just buys the blink because that's all he can afford, and he knows the push is coming now, so he has to just buy they something. Are gonna glimpse how he rages a bit late. He oh. says, "Oh, okay, Thanks. great. Now I'm next to your melee rack. So I'll hit that instead." Newbie, in prime position here to take a lane. They still have everything online. Otherwise, teammates are so far behind. Like, they're not even close There's just, to him. You'd have to do the full complexity wrap around to even have a chance at this. How just has to wait for his next rage, perhaps wait for a recast of the Lincolns, which is about to wear off, and then he's on the high ground again. And they're just not good at dealing with uh, any form of magic immune carry. They'd have to commit everything, including the duel, to kill him once. Yep. At some point, Secret is just going to have to commit unless they want to just play from another lane of Rax down, because that's right now where we're headed. But it doesn't seem like they have the late game at this point, so... No, not at all. Just playing for later is... Almost playing into Newbie's hands. They do get a duel off on the Hal, but he's managed to pop that rage, so he you're takes dead. no damage. He says, Misery, you're mine. I'm the winner. You're my chicken dinner. Let's go. Newbie taking out the melee rack. The exorcism has been committed now. Hardly even needed for this siege. Move just feels like artillery and kind of an 
ancillary support at this point. They get off the Echo onto end, does pop his ultimate, then he dies again, so he basically lost two lives there. Chronosphere was committed for this, and Newbie just march into the secret phase, slaughtering all in their path. Weeha rolls around in secret, don't even put up a fight after that. They call the GG, they have been eliminated from MDL, and Newbie are back in a big way here with a new roster. Maybe it's done. And a very interesting style. Yep. I'm loving the versatility they're showing with their picks, their laning. A lot of confidence for this team in terms of their play. No more MMOs for this team, LD. They're, they're playing Dota once again, playing good Dota at that. It's, it's been a really impressive showing throughout MDL. Their group stage was incredible, despite them starting in the lower bracket. They didn't feel like 